Be that it's 6.30 and we do have a quorum, I will call the meeting of the Conservation Commission open. I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from February 1st. I'll make that motion. Second. So moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll move. Aye. We have a new public hearing, which I will read into the record. Under the Wetland Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40 of Mass General Law is amended. In the West Bridgewater Wetland Protection Bylaw Rules and Regulations, the Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, through both remote and in person participation by notice of intent to upgrade a septic system and construction of a garage addition with landscaping in an existing dwelling within the vicinity of a bordering vegetative wetland at 42 Hartshorn Street in West Bridgewater, and we're open. And we have presenting. Uh, Peter Lyons, do you, can you present? Yes, can you guys hear me? Yep. Awesome. You're a little fuzzy on my end, but I'll do my best to get through to you. Before, uh, yeah, before you start, before you start, oh. yes, we should have Jason announce it, something. You yes, you just yourself. have to recuse oh, yourself yeah. because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you probably should. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. so I, because this has to do with my family and the uh, property of 42 Hartshorn, which is my parents' property. I oh, this does. Yes. Oh, okay. So I formally recuse myself from the discussion. So you can Thank stay. you. Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah he, could, he could participate and sit in the room, just yeah. we yeah. can't have yeah. him <laughs> <laughs> disappear. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can see. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. It, you presenting John or is Peter? I'm, I'm trying to get it. To okay, that's okay. You want, you want me to bring it up? Nope, he's got it. All right, can we see the screen? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in at all for you. Okay, um, sure, so I apologize if there's any delay or issue with the audio, as it's a little static here on my end. But um, for the record of Peter Lyons with Collins Engineering Group, um, representing our client, Mr. Winchell, and his parents at the property, 42 Hartshorn Street. Um, as mentioned, this is a couple things going on here. Uh, we're looking at, um, Improving the existing septic system and installing or providing a uh, addition, an in-law style addition off of the existing house and then removing some trees out back in the buffer area. Um, just a, a quick narrative um, from, the, from the applicant. A couple things I'd like to point out. Um, as mentioned, Jason Wenchel is the, the applicant here. Um, his parents built the house. The house has been in their family for years. And um, our applicant is proposing to, to move in with their um, disabled daughter as, and move in with the parents that are currently in the house. So they're looking to just give themselves enough space um, to all inhabit that. The septic system is uh, we're replacing an existing four bedroom design. So we're not increasing flow, we're simply replacing a failed system that's currently in the ground. Um, the existing septic system is a tank out back to a um, couple leaching galleys out under the existing shed. The proposed addition will be off the left side of the house at the end of the driveway. Um, we're proposing a 30 by 30 addition. It's uh, just inside the 100 foot land buffer. It looks like it's about 90 feet to the closest corner here. Um, what that does, that pushes our usable septic area um, a little closer to the back towards the wetlands. Uh, this site has high groundwater and poor soils all over, which is going to result in a rather large mounded 
um, pump septic system. Uh, the replacement of the septic will eliminate the pump system and provide the, the required separation to groundwater um, to meet new code. The proposed septic system we're showing as close as 53 feet to the resource area. Um, the tanks are, they are about 40 feet to the resource area, just located behind the house. We're doing everything we can to tuck everything up to the house. We have minimum setbacks to the foundation are being met uh, for the existing and proposed structures. We're also looking to push back the existing lawn area, which is right about at the stone wall right now. There's existing clear areas in the back with some significant pine trees, most alive but some dead, that are within range of falling onto the house or the new septic system. Um, the applicant has had recent issues with trees falling on the roof and trees falling on a car in the driveway. So um, just to review, we're proposing a erosion control limit of work as a grade dash line around the project. And that will be permanently defined by a series of conservation posts. Uh, we show in five locations, the black circular dots um, we are also proposing some mitigation to fill in the existing vegetation along the proposed tree line. Um, a lot of this area is either clear or there's just some, some yard debris here. So we're looking to clean that up, expand the lawn, uh, remove any hazardous trees, and provide some mitigation along the proposed um, limit of work or limit, limit of activity. Um, that would be as close to 15 and 18 feet to the existing BBW lines. Um, that's pretty much an overview of, of the project. So again, it's a new septic system. The in-laws addition for the, the parents and the disabled daughter, um, and then the tree work, which is going to keep the trees away from the existing roofs, cars, and the septic area. So um, I'm sure the commission has some questions, so I'll take them at this time. Well, my first one I'll throw out there, it looks like there's a wetland flag 15 feet off the wetland line. I'm curious why that line's so close and why we're not going to be moving it further out. It's proposed lawn. It doesn't look like it's current lawn. Right. Yep, so this area is, is wooded right now. Um, pretty much once you get to the wall, it's wooded to be on that. Field stone wall? At the same time, um, closer towards the back. The 50 is beyond the wall. Right? There's not much vegetation no. there currently. It's down. Oh, yeah, now. But it's tough because the 50, 50 foot looks to be this hashtag here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why this marker, they should be out near the 50 as close as we can put them. The area is, uh, you know, it, it's somewhat cleared out. Like I mean, especially because it's, the the it's not existing long. Um, it is pretty open and accessible. <coughs> so where should they be to? Well, the, we have a 50 foot no touch, right. which we pretty much adhere to especially on new construction. If it's previously stirred lawn area in a septic upgrade, we generally allow them to do work within the 50. But that <coughs> wall that's there, is that a field stone wall? Uh, I don't know if it's field stone per se, but it, it's an old, yeah, like an existing uh, property line okay. wall common to what you see all around the area. Uh, maybe a foot to I don't know how much I can high. say towards this without crossing ethics. So oh, just, it's been there for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the original boundary for the whole street, actually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess the, the system I have no trouble with. Right, system. right. 
Push and I don't back just to extend it. Yeah. I don't have a problem taking some of the trees down and replacing them if they're right. hazardous trees. Um, but I do have a problem extending the lawn and moving the 50 foot. I would too. So, John? I, so I think the um, fact that this is going to be a mounded system and you know, kind of takes away from the existing yard that's already there uh, to no fault of, of the uh, landowner because of, uh, Peter, correct me if I'm wrong, is it failing at this point? I couldn't hear that. Too many phones going on. I'll try to get it. So is the existing system failing? Uh, it's it's not a catastrophic failure, but it is in the groundwater. Yeah. So, th I guess that's the idea: is just to be able to provide a new younger family that's moving in to take care of dad, um, mom, dad, both, both, um, and have some room for recreating in the backyard. How high is that mom going to be on? How high is the mound on the septic system, Peter? Three feet. Uh, it's going to be about three feet above existing grade. So <coughs> waist high, a little higher maybe. Even There's not going to be any uh, retaining wall against it, is there? No retaining. It's all uh, proposed. Uh, looks like three to one slopes. <coughs> and yeah, no retaining. But we've had people, I believe, in the past that, you know, bought a house and found out they had no, they wanted to push back for their families and stuff. And I don't believe we were too quick to allow it. Well, it's, yeah, and I can understand. It's one thing that, if it's new buyers, <clears throat> this family's been here since... Four generations. Four generations, so it's not like they don't know and... They're just upgrading what they have now and obviously putting on uh, an addition, which is fine. But between the addition and the septic system, they're losing open space yes, and lawn area. area. And that's which the only is problem. That's that's I can't see justifying going that's, into the wetlands. Yeah, no. that's the only problem. For that. That. I mean, if they, I'd be willing to say, let's put the markers along the stone wall. I, I'm and afraid just, of a precedent that we made. Right. I, You're taking, you know, usable land and building on it. You know, the addition and, and the septic. So that's sort of a, a choice thing. Mm -hmm. you know. And unfortunately, everything up in that area is low. Right. Ground is high. Ground. Yeah. So. Because when they built those houses, they built them so they went with the land and didn't make them little islands like yeah. they're appearing everywhere else. This line here is the 50 foot. So, that's so I mean, they'd be giving up a little here. Yeah, if we would just call there, that yeah. line. I mean, we're going to have to grant them a waiver to do work in here, anyways, within the 50. Mm -hmm. For the grading that's going to happen in that corner. <coughs> so, basically, what we're saying is we're not comfortable with pushing or doing that proposed lawn area. Right. Okay. There's no pool, is there? Right now, there is not a pool. That is part of. Again, I I don't know where I'm. No, that's no, no, you're you're fine. You're fine. You're not voting. You can give any information okay. you want. You can speak. All right. So I mean, because I, I have a whole prepared statement, but John wasn't sure in terms of the ethics. Peter tried to present that. I won't read the whole thing because Peter did a good job. The the answer to your pool question and use of or proposed lawn space and I totally hear what you're saying about that 15 foot marker and I'd be willing you know we you know could see that and push that back towards the stone wall so if you're looking at the diagram the bottom left corner is more you know maybe the area of focus of like hey could we kind of use that the reason why is my daughter is both autistic as well as has down syndrome and so pool therapy is actually one of her therapies to help her cope with her anxiety and stuff like that as as long as well as her swing set so those are two of the things that we're really kind of 
hoping for in terms of taking over this hardship. I mean, we have a home over here on Spring Street that's all set. You know, so this matter of the benevolence to my parents and taking kind of that sort of stand with it. Um, and then providing that opportunity, because our daughter having Down syndrome is with us for the rest of her life, probably, as long as that is. <coughs> yeah. Because, and not to kind of hard to say, but from what I see, it's like with the septic the way it is now, it's going to be raised. That's almost kind of like the spot where a pool will go in a regular yard. So that's kind of like the pool you got, but like Tim said, the shed right there, even if you moved it down to the... The back left corner, and then off the patio had the footprint between the tanks and the leach field as an area before the wall for the pool, if that was a... It, as of right now, the pool is just one of those intact portable pools set up and take down, you know, kind of... Yeah, like, yeah. It's but not, I mean, it's not yeah, we're just trying to give you a footprint to... The patio and that the shed are all gone because of the construction and having to put pipes, you know, all over to the leach field. Yeah, it's not like you can put an in-ground pool. Oh, absolutely not. Oh. No. <laughs> no, that's yeah, that would do. The so if we, if we, if uh, we, if we put the flags along the stone wall, would there be bottom room in that bottom left area for the pool? Move that. Right in yeah, the that's what we were thinking. Was if you took. My thought was this shed that's here, yeah. if it was put over here, yeah. and then the patio's already gone for construction, it would give you that's right. yeah. an area there for a new patio, new area, potential pool. We already have to have the septic system up three feet from the existing grade. The leaching field looks like that's up two feet from the existing grade. If you were to re-engineer, fill in, whatever, to make the grade a little right. more level, put a pool. <coughs> Something that, yeah, it's not impossible. Not impossible to work with it with a yard. I mean, you're gonna lose lot area. That's definite. But uh, yeah, the addictions theoretically taking that away. I mean, you'd still have the green area on top of the leach field, but yeah. not be totally flat. Right. Like I don't think you can put a pool on top. No. Of no. That. no. no. Yeah. You can put a swing set. Yeah. Not pool. <laughs> So other than the wetland line and the markers, I have no problem with the project. No, no I don't either. So are you saying that um, the existing wall would be the limit of the yard in the future? Yeah. I think that's consensus is the... Squeeze it in there, you get? I mean, we, we grade them the... You're doing pretty good of getting the way you can get in there. <coughs> the, the, the property, obviously that's still in, my parents purchased the extra 7,500 feet when the farm between Hartshorn and Prospect went up for sale once that all didn't park. So unbeknownst, unfortunately, unbeknownst to them, they purchased what, 50 pound, yeah, 50, 7,500 square feet of 50 yeah. foot on the road. So that was, this area was at, can you see this at home? Where, can you see my cursor? All right, so that is an additional piece of land that they purchased years ago, or the, his dad purchased years ago. This was the original lot right here. And then they purchased this, not knowing that there were some restrictions on it. How long ago was the purchase for that? I would say upwards of 15, 20, whatever, whenever that house was built on that farm in between our well, prospect and prospect house. street i think it is yeah, it's, yeah 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 the right of way is off prospect between mcwiggins old house and somebody else's now what do we decide about trees um <coughs> <coughs> we wouldn't take down the it's trees that were yeah. yeah this hazardous All trees hazardous we can house. we allow that with a replanting plan so that would still be allowed so there is a replanting plan Right. So the way I, I look at it at this point, there's a need to revise the plan to move things back as far as the conservation markers. 
and then determine how many trees need to be cut down or right. replaced? That's what I would say. Uh, chime in on that just to uh, so we basically want to move the conservation post up to the existing stone wall um, we can advance the lawn up to the stone wall and we can um, eliminate selective trees within the 50 foot buffer or beyond the stone wall with a, a mitigation or a a replacement plan for those trees so we won't be looking at a lawn area but we will be able to maintain the hazardous trees yeah. uh, between the wetland line and the 50-foot buffer is that correct yes yep and realistically when you're doing it it doesn't look like on the plan there are any trees with in the wetland area but if there are hazardous trees, make note of those because they can also be taken care of at this time. I don't know whether they'd be within the fall zone of the house or the shed or anything, but if you're going to do it all at once, I'd say do them now. So rather than having the uh, engineer out there trying to locate the trees, typically I go out and I mark them, document which ones, and then the, um, I can put in the order of conditions. Uh, how many would be cut and how many need to be replanted to make up for it. So I, I don't want the uh, applicant have to pay the engineering company to go back and do some more field work. We, we're going to have them do some more drafting changes, but I, I don't think it's necessary to go back and locate every tree out there. No. Okay. No. Yeah, and John, to that note, um, I mean, we honestly kind of have located all of the trees. Oh, you did? Yeah, so the trees depicted um, on this plan anyways are as of, I think about a month ago I went out there and um, everything that was, it was flagged up with pink flags. So you should see all of those trees uh, noted on this plan. It's a little small, but if you zoom way in, you know, we also have, uh, you know, breast height diameters on everything uh, for your reference. If, it would be easier to refer to the numbers on our plan. Um, that'd probably be the best way. Yeah, that'd so, yeah. make it easier. <coughs> so I, we I assume that the plan and, and back up the work limit, and then we can just verify which of the trees that are already shown on the plan are going to be removed. And the trees are not healthy is that the best way to describe it do you just want a hazardous preemptive yeah i mean after the storms we've had recently they could go we've, yeah. we've lost we've lost two roofs <laughs> and a car I my parents oh, yeah. yeah they were asked they've been there you know since they whenever they, they were don't do too well. started <laughs> hundreds of you know uh, not with the wind storms we've been having <laughs> we even just lost a big oak in the last one thankfully it fell into the wetlands rather than into the yard. Yeah. It was... Yeah. John, do we want to deal with this as a change to be submitted in order and write this up with the order conditions and then we can close everything and have it done that way instead of having to continue with public hearing where it's it's not a majority of the project that, I mean, it's really just a drafting change? Yes. I. I think you could do that. Uh, typically, if it's a lot of change, then I would like to see the public hearing closed. Uh, doesn't appear to be any uh, abutters here that are, or even on the Zoom mm -hmm. or Google meeting, uh, that have any concerns. So I think we could do it that way. Right. I mean, everything's pretty much marked and done. It's just really the plans need to be changed and we could cover it with an order yeah it would most likely just be reverted to the previous plan the original plan right. the, this is the second version of the plan right? oh okay okay there is a previous version that had everything laid out you know right to the stone wall and stuff and then we were kind of talking about space and you know yeah. kind of how we would live there sort of thing and so then it was that was when 
George and Peter and I kind of said, okay, well, let's ask. And yeah. Yep, doesn't hurt to. It's going to be room for the swing set. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, you know, like we have chickens, we have bees, like the, all of this is all kind of part of my daughter's, you know, like, like it's, I don't know, <laughs> I guess, see so yeah, if we can figure out what we can do with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you can use the top of the... Right, but you can't use that for the vegetable garden, you know, bees-wise, I don't know. Yeah, bees, you can just set them on there, there's no big kill there. Right, and I, I, my suggestion yeah. would also be is talk to Collins Engineering as you're yes, doing it, and if there's any grading to try to right. up to the Stonewaller area that you can smooth out to give you more of a flatter surface right. instead of this would be the time it may cost a little more to get the fill in to do it, but just to give you a yeah. flat lawn surface the in the back. Fill yeah. Anyway, yeah. So uh, right. One of the concerns and even with the tanks that was so close to the house is actually going to be like for lack of the retrograde away from the house, you know, like because the house is, you know, the woods still is only six inches off the ground as is just because of the way they built the houses back then. Yep. So we have, you know, there's not much room to, we're already dealing with water issues as is. Yeah. So isn't everybody in Westbridge Order, but. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. All right, anything else? And I think I will call for motion to close the hearing. Motion close. Second. Second, all those in favor? Aye. Approved. And I will entertain a motion to issue a standard board of conditions with the noting of the moving of the flags and the marking of the trees. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Okay. And the grant of the 50 foot. Oh, and I will entertain a motion to grant a waiver for work within the 50 foot. For the septic system. For the septic system. I'll make that motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. All right. All right. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Peter. Get that. Get that plane into us. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. Now you can come back up to the table. <laughs> Sorry for the craziness. That's okay. We have <coughs> only we have one visitor, new person. Continued public hearing and twenty-one Lincoln Street. You did fill in, Rick. Yeah, you're, you're good at that. <laughs> All right, I'll call it up so that God bless you. Three. There's usually seven. I have two. <laughs> two, I have seven. I've maxed it at 13, but seven is the norm. I just sent you the email. I forgot to do it before I left the office. PDF of from um, this one? So you sent one? Just while I sat here. Uh, I will probably have to do something slightly different because I didn't see it. You can throw that one on the easel, and we'll unless you want to hold it. <laughs> the um, style. <laughs> but we can work off of. I just uh, I forgot to. How about it. if we put the camera so that we can? Where is the camera? Right here. Oh, sweet. Okay. You can point, and I will. There we go. Will that work? Uh, not, not really. Does <laughs> it? <laughs> no. No. All right. You did send an email. I did send an email. Okay, let me see if I can get it. Hold on, everybody. Well, Technology. Technology is when it works. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing amazing, John. Hey, there she is. You got it. There it is. Almost done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at you. Yeah. Two well, I get through that. So if I date, I usually do date on. Sean, you can just click on that thing in the left. Yeah, right the bottom the left. Yep. Go outside. The oh, that's there. right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should. There you go. <coughs> There we go. There we go. It's a big drawing. <laughs> it is a big drawing. I 
and then you can uh, color. Sh share it on the screen. So uh, let's see, where do we leave off? We had to Maybe. call out about our restoration area. Mm -hmm. oh, almost there, almost there. Mm. It's, in, it's in your window, so click the left one if you want to do the window. Yeah, you picked a window instead of an application. Yeah. You can try it. Try again. Share. Uh, a tab. Nope. No, that's Cancel. Just try again. To share a tab. Yeah. And then that here. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, ta -da. John must have carried the conversation since it was his guidance that got us here. It goes slow because of the delay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you just need to slow down. You need to, you need to let it keep up with you. Can we get rid of this? Yes. Um, I don't. I don't. This is just a preview mode, so I don't think so. You might be able to slide that over, John, at the bottom. We can just zoom in on each area as you go, right? Yeah, yep, I think there it goes. To do. Yep. Uh, in fact, if you want to take the stage, you uh, you brought us here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so Rebecca and I have discussed since the last meeting. I kind of put it in an email to everyone, but um, I had concerns about the 50-foot buffer mitigation, so that where they were. Um, going to make a new culvert here. They were intruding on the 50-foot buffer in this area. So I had her create a, a spot down in here, in this corner, uh, outside the 50 f to the wetland here and here. So we've got an additional buffer, even though it's like more than 50 feet. It's a, a buffer enhancement. To compensate for that, that was one thing. The other uh, item that I was concerned about is that, um, let's see if we can get there. The improvements that are going to occur on Lincoln Street and West Center Street, where they're going to redo the whole intersection, widen West Center Street, realign Lincoln Street so that it comes in at a perpendicular right opposite of West Street, uh, not West Street, I'm sorry, um, Crescent Street, is going to require some drainage improvements. And so they were trying to put all of the drainage underneath the roadway uh, layout, which would create an issue sometime down the road when the town had to replace drainage uh, structures that are underground. Uh, so eventually they came around to creating an open basin and it's it's not part of the Silva engineering work. It's going to be presented by McMahon, McMahon mm -hmm. I think is their company, uh, who is doing the engineering on the streets. So I wanted her to put that on the plan so that at least it, it's um, known where it's going to go. It still has to be reviewed through a stormwater permit that they have yet to file with us because I think they're still doing some more engineering work. Uh, but at that point, uh, we'll have a 53G review of the drainage uh, separately from the Silva plan. And so I asked her to put on there that it was going to be a separate uh, review so that they don't have to take credit for it or uh, if there's any issues, they don't have to be doing the work. So. Give and they'll be granted as an easement, I'm assuming, yes, to I have them I believe they've worked out all of the easements pro Right, properly. but that's right. how they you're going to deal with... Their plans actually do show the easements the town will take as well, so... Okay, all this, right. This will be encompassed in an easement of sorts. So then, crossing the uh, wetland, for the, or doing a new culvert for the for that crossing there where, the, where I showed you at the, fr at the start of this, um, they are working in the wetlands um, to 
reinstall that culvert so that it has uh, up upgraded standards for stream, so-called stream crossing standards. Um, so they have to do it to, m to make the water be able to flow there and, and be able to provide any uh, aquatic or any associated reptiles, uh, amphibians that um, will go along that drainage swale, uh, better passage through it. And so they are working in the wetlands. So she's uh, shown a uh, two to one replication area up here where um, it's adjacent to the wetland. So it makes sense and most likely will be successful uh, instead of putting it up here somewhere where it may not be quite as, as successful. And I think the other uh, question I had was on the building. Has uh, entrances. So there's a vehicle access point here and the same on the other end. And so she's shown the, the um, floor drains with the tight tank that will be outside and the order conditions will require double walled uh, leak, leak detection systems and, um, and it will also have um, continuous uh, wet devices in the trap so that they don't dry out and yes, any, um, what do they call them? Water priming traps, self self priming yeah, yeah, yeah. water traps, uh, so that any fumes that are in the tank itself don't come back up through through the floor drains and into the warehouse. Uh, so that'll be in the order of conditions. And did I cover everything? That was the four key items. Yeah. There's not going to be any trucks or anything like inside or parked outside for a while. These are l these are loading docks here, uh, but. I mean, there's not going to be like <coughs> be forklifts and that type of thing inside. I mean, there's not going to be any kind of like equipment parked anywhere just for. Give me an example. Because uh, there's two drive up doors. So we do expect unloading inside. No, I understand, but okay, it's okay. is it going to be like over, overnight parking or is These it These are all trailers, yeah. They, they're going to. Trailers, not yeah. trucks. Mm. They'll no probably be, drop the trailer. No one's going to be sleeping in the parking lot. Okay, that's what I basically meant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like overnight or no, I don't believe so. week long parking of the truck or something like that. No, these are daily. It's in just in and out, in, in and, and out, out, in and out. out. Yes. Yeah. The trailer may stay, but the truck will not. Yeah. Yes. Now, are the trucks, trailers going to have reefers on it? Refrigerated units? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I can't answer that. Because um, that's, if those sit, something happens to them, they got motors on them. And they're running. And they're running. A lot of them now, they have plug-in ports. So Once they have. back up, they switch over and plug in so to that the you, yeah. right, to electric, so the units aren't running yeah, constantly. Yeah. 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 So that's why we need floor drains. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's adequate to have just one, you know, in that spot, but during the uh, permitting phase, for uh, building permit process. Yeah, it's usually the norm. I mean, the other warehouse we did was the same exact thing, and it was four drain, one, one drain slopes to the drain. And so if the plumbing inspector determines they need some more, it, yeah. it's covered with the fact that she's shown these tight tanks outside. Yeah. I would assume if there is a spill or an accident and the tank's spilled, then oh, you're yeah. not bringing more trucks in <laughs> until no. it's rectified and cleaned right. and dealt with. So yeah. it's I mean, as long as the tanks are designed big and enough even on the to outside, hold the spill. And even on the outside, if you're afraid of the outside, that's why there's water quality on the outside for that purpose there. How big is the, the warehouse of Bridgewater? How much? Same. Oh, and I see just right. not that it involves us, but a, is that slab elevation of 80? 80, 80 elevation. Feet? Elevation, yes. Above? Well, no, it's sea level. I think right. the, I think at the oh, last meeting level, But I, I think the question at the last meeting was how much fill, and I think you said in that area it was going to be eight to ten feet. Yeah, yeah. So okay. eight to ten feet of additional elevation from what you from see what there. From what you see there, yeah, right, correct. Oh, it's going to be a lot of 
work called. Light yeah. us up, light us up. A lot of trucks in and out. <laughs> Which that interest right up the highway I was trying to remember when this even came before the town. It's almost two years. Yeah, it's been right. a while. Yeah. 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 And then when they start pouring the walls and they start tilting off. Is that how they do it? Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that'll be fun. We saw the other one. The drones were flying all. It was, it was fun to watch the other one. Okay, I'll get a one chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that pretty much covers uh, the things that I discussed with Rebecca since the last meeting and at the last meeting it didn't seem as if the Commission had any other issues um, I do have an issue though about timing if we close it tonight we have 21 days um, I can work up a draft order conditions for the next meeting which is 14 days from now um, and if the Commission has any uh, other ideas that you want to add into it after you see what I come up with, which is going to be sizable. Uh, I'm estimating approximately four to five pages of conditions. Um, so it's going to be extensive. No, he's going to do it all. You know about them all. Well, I have a good idea. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if, Rebecca, you feel that we could get some additional time. Oh. Oh, it's very tonight. <laughs> My husband said the same thing. Walk in, expecting nothing. How so will that affect the actual project? I mean At this point, you're not going to do much in the winter, but financing and lining up all the other stuff, this is key. This is critical. Yeah. Um, come on, can't you sleep over a couple nights and get it done? Well, I, I can get it done. I just, uh, I don't want to put the commission members in yeah. the position where they come in on the next meeting and they look at something and they don't have time to review it. Yeah, we so don't have, we don't have to worry about the other engineering company about the. It's a twenty-one day street, you know, the street widening or anything like that. That is not. No, that it. No, it's a separate. That's permit. a separate. It'll be a separate yeah. permit. So. Um, There really, other than the logistics of writing the order of conditions, there's no reason not to close the hearing tonight. So what I can commit to do is work on the draft and get it out to individual members, and individually you can report back to me what you think. And uh, as long as it, the consensus of the commission members that are getting back to me indicate that you're either happy with it or you want to tweak something, I think we can be prepared for the, the next meeting and make Rebecca happy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And normally I, mean, I know it's not, <laughs> not likely I'm going to be saying I don't like this, John. No. Right. I mean, I normally I don't really worry too much about what the applicant or the engineer thinks. I mean, I try to be yeah. understanding. Right. <coughs> But I think this has gone on for quite a while, and uh, it might be time to um, not delay them, not on purpose, but um, you know, if, the, if, it, if it means a little extra work out of our end of it in the office, uh, I think it's justifiable. I have a question. When you send out the, the five pages, and we get questions from the rest, can I, can I hear all the questions too? So. So what I could do is um, respond back to each individual member with the fact that uh, other members have asked this question, and um, and and this was my response to them, and then I can tell you, and then if anybody else. So I, I we just have to do it the right way so that we don't um, make a violation of the open meeting law. So yes, I think we can do it that way. Because it helps me when I hear other people's questions. By then, yeah. and, I mean, and you can, depending on how you're doing the document, you can just make revisions or comments on it when you send it to right. us, redline it or something. So if you did a Google Doc, and then you can share it with all of us, and then we could actually highlight and comment right there. Everybody can see what the comments are. There are specific things, and I believe all of that is maintained as part of the document. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I just um, I'm sure awful curious. Really able to do it, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Having to have that document. It's a lot more work to do it individually, but um, I don't think we take the chance of violating it. And so how <coughs> do you do it in email altogether? A group of us? Or 
would be down there, but all out of curiosity. That's because it would be a like a group violation? meeting. Yeah. Because yeah. we'd have a quorum more than we'd have a quorum voting or giving input all at once. See, that's why I was asking for more time, but I I don't think it's justified just because I don't want to work. Uh, Overnight or whatever it is on a pull an all nighter. Yeah, well, I mean, well John's gonna throw it on us. Once he sends that document out, then we have to turn around, read it, comment it, and get it back to him overnight, so that he has time to change and get in touch with everybody. So if it's working, like, <laughs> <laughs> have we made you feel bad enough so yeah, that you will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it's justifiable. <laughs> let's let's put yeah, an end if to you it. Can, if you, yeah, make her day Valentine's week. Mm -hmm. What does that speed up for you by doing that? It's stress release. I mean, it just lets still get the 21 days. Someone, I still have a ton more to do, but it's just yeah. one more. One, one more thing off for a box of check things, and then they this can. This has been going, going on for a while. Larry in on it? Is Larry in on it? Yeah. Is he working on it, too? Not as much as I am. <laughs> 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 he was working on his tan in Aruba last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the perks of. Being the boss, I guess. Yeah. So. Almost semi retired, not quite. Wanted to, pleading, yeah. begging, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Back his <laughs> time of request. You've been carrying this baby for a very long time. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Longer than elephants do. Yeah. So, I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Second. Who's second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And we'll issue an issue issue that conditions once we see it. You won't see him in two weeks. No. Maybe I will wait. And we'll, we'll issue a, a, I need a motion to issue in 21 days. I'll entertain a motion to issue a order of conditions within the 21 days. Okay. Second. We'll say all in favor. Aye. 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 And we have to issue the waiver for work within the 50 foot. Yeah. I'll entertain that motion. Second, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. I think we got him. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night. You too. You need to go home now, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Eventually. Oh, oh. You and I don't yeah. think we'll have to see you until the next one. The next one. Probably not as bad. So you're going to get me the signed order? What do you mean? The signed um, plans? plans. Yes, or were they signed? They'll be dated today's date. Today? Today's date. Okay. We'll do it that way. Yep. Okay. Because Larry's a time traveler. He goes forward and back in time. Can you sign that on February 11th? Oh, wait, you weren't here. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Yep, same deal. 373 Crescent Street? Did they still have haven't complied with everything, so we'll need to... Um, Carry that over to the next meeting with a motion. I'll let the motion to continue. Motion to continue. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. And do we have any invoices? We do. We have a, a request to return a surety for Green Seal Amen. Environmental LLC. It's been rejected a couple of times after the commission members have signed it, so <coughs> it's finally um, in proper yeah, form. Right. We also have. I'll entertain a motion to <laughs> refund the surety. No, it doesn't have to be a real pick. That motion. A second. Aye. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. And we have the um, signature page for the order of conditions for 42 Hartshorn Street. And Jason, don't sign it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And with the items on the agenda. Does anybody else have anything else? No. Thank you. Nope. All right. no. Hearing none, then I can entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn? Yes. Do I have a second? Second. 
Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Hey guys. Have a good, good night. night.